All right, folks. So, charge weapons. They're at the end of the tech tree. They must be the best weapons to use in any situation, right? Well, not really the case. And I'm going to show you why. So if you're familiar with the series, you know what's coming. But to test this, we are using our test range with a whole host of pawns with 10 in shooting, no specific skills anywhere else, nothing that modifies our shooting, and we are testing them in a shooting range over three distances, a short, a medium, and a long range, against two types of targets. We've got our unarmored targets, in this case, Muffalo, and armored targets, Scythers. And what we're going to do is we're measuring the time to kill for each of these items for both our charged rifles and our charged lance weapons, which we're going to test today. And we're going to compare them against some of the weapons we've tested previously. So no messing about, let's look at the data. What we're looking at here are box plots of the time to kill for each of the weapons, comparing our charged weapons against other ones that have done well in the past, like the minigun and the chain shotgun. And for those of you unfamiliar with box plots, what we're really interested about is these values. They're our average value for time to kill. So immediately for our muffalo, our unarmored targets, is that actually over all distances, the minigun beats both the charged rifle and the charged lance. You can see here, significant differences where shorter times obviously better weapons again here over a medium range same sort of thing charge rifle does better than the charge lance minigun beats all chain shotgun it doesn't have the range we don't have a we don't have a dark blue long distance with the chain shotgun because it doesn't fire that far and again even at a short range it's the sheer number of bullets that a minigun puts out that means it kills these muffalo quicker than any of the charged weapons. So against any unarmored targets, any man-hunting beasts, charged weapons aren't really the way to go. But that might be expected, right? Charged weapons, what they really have is tons of penetration. They beat any other weapons for penetration. So we'd expect that versus armored targets, that's where they really shine. So let's have a look how we did it taking on Scythers. Well, actually, it's not that clear cut. Over a long distance again, see technically the minigun on average does slightly better than the charge weapons however there's a big spread on these charge weapons and i think especially with the lance that's because it only fires a single shot but that single shot can do massive damage so it's a bit of a lottery remember these pawns only have 10 skill in shooting but one of our pawns with the charge lance killed the scyther in one shot straight away, which is why this bar goes all the way down to the bottom. So if you get really lucky with a quite poor pawn, you can still kill something immediately. If it hits like the brain in one shot, does massive damage, that's it. But otherwise, it's lots of slow shots that aren't firing very quickly with a low chance to hit. Similar story over a medium range. Averages are a bit more skewed there. Charged rifle looks a bit better, looks a little bit more consistent. I'd say if you're going to put charge weapons on any pawn that's like an average pawn, charge rifle is definitely better than the charge lamps. And then we can zoom in and look at the short range as well. So this is just the short range zoomed right in. And again, you can see that with the charged lance, there's a chance that you might kill somebody in immediately. But the minigun is way more consistent for all the pawns than both the rifle and the lance. The lance is a bit of a gamble if you've got like average pawns. So are charged weapons rubbish? Is that what I'm saying? Well, actually, not quite. You might say you want to use the charged lance to pick things off at range. Well, actually, the sniper rifle has much better range. Although, as we've shown in previous tests, it doesn't do that much damage consistently. And as I've suggested, that is because you've got a low chance to hit with the charged lance. So how do you improve this? Well... What you really need to make the most out of the charge lance to ensure that it's doing the tons of damage that it's capable of is you need an excellent masterwork quality one. As you can see here, increasing the quality of the weapon increases the accuracy over all of the ranges. And secondly, you need an excellent shooting pawn, not one with just the rubbish, say rubbish, average 10 that we've got here. You want a pawn with 20 shooting, you want a pawn with an excellent charge lance, that's guaranteed to do some hits, and then it can do massive damage from miles away 
you can use it to prioritize a target that's dangerous coming at you, wipe that one out, and probably let the rest of your minigunners do the rest of the job. So there you have it, guys. That is where charged weapons are useful. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see why the minigun is really the best weapon, then check out this previous video I did. Enjoy your in world. I'll catch you in a bit.